Hey guys, it's Jessica, and I'm doing some late night chalking. Trying to get set up here. Whoops, there went the dryer. Sorry about that. I don't know if anybody's coming in, and I am not on my um, face, my YouTube. So just give me, um, not my YouTube. What am I talking about? My page yet? So just give me a second, so I can see if anybody's in. Lower my volume. Well, we got a few people in. I don't know who you are, and I apologize. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kristen. And. Uh Sorry. Hi, Lynn. Um, I know there's other people in here because it tells me how many people are in, but I missed you and I'm sorry. I was trying to mess around with my, my, um, little iPad. Hi, Deb. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, I was messing around with my iPad so that way I could see and I can actually do this where you guys see the whole thing and it's not crooked and it's <laughs> the right way. So, I'm going to make a small little chalkboard um, for my front door because um, we're getting ready to get to Halloween time. And this was the Club Couture transfer that, that's coming up. Hi, Tawana. Um, this is the Club Couture transfer that is coming out. Um, it is available now in my online store. It's called Ghosts and Ghouls. And we have Frankenstein and a mummy and a zombie and pumpkins and lots of faces and a wish and a, a witch and a ghost. And I'm going to do a little bit of it all tonight. I just wanted to play around and I think it'll be fun. Um, hi, Gina. Yeah, I definitely think it's going to be fun, Elizabeth. So I'm just cutting out my pieces. And I need to get my little mummy and my zombie hand. And sure, I could have done this on camera, but I like to show you guys kind of a start to finish with how I do the transfer. Aw, thanks, Gina. Hi, Melissa. Okay, so I'm having a ball playing with this. I'm sure you guys know this by now. I just love that I can make my own decorations now, my own chalkboards, and I don't have to buy them anymore. And I can make it myself, and when I'm done with it, I can clean it off and make something different. That's the best part. If you haven't watched me do Chalk Couture yet, um, Chalk Couture is a brand new company. It launched July the 1st. Um, hi, Tiffany. Hi, Melissa. Um, brand new company, just launched July the 1st. Um, it is all about chalking and chalkboards and what you can do with it. I mean, pretty much I, everything I've tried has worked. Burlap, canvas, canvas bags, um, other chalkboards of many other brands, wood, palette, uh, my wall, um, using chalkboard paint on another board, um, wood slabs, uh, glass, a mirror, an expo, dry erase expo board thing, um, and even a lampshade. So, I am really having a good time trying to figure out what I can and can't use it on. And so far, everything's been pretty good. Hey, Susan. Hey, Raphael. Hey, Tanya. Um, I'm trying to be a little more organized with what, I, what I've been doing here. So, on the back of all your transfers, before you pull them off, you have to write back. So, that way you know the correct way. Aw, thanks, Susan. Hi, Valerie. Um, so, you know the correct way to re place your transfers because our transfers are reusable between 20 and 50 times if you take good care of them. Um, and by take good care of them, meaning you clean them, you wash them, you use your Lysol wipe on them to get them sticky again or Clorox or Walmart brand, and then you replace them back on your transfer and store them somewhere. That's what it means to take good care of them. So that's really not a lot when you think about it. But um, one of the things is you have to mark the back of your transfer so you don't reassign it on the wrong way. Okay, so I'm just going through and I'm going to say pumpkin one, pumpkin two, pumpkin three. And I am just trying to make it easier for me so I'm not trying to figure out what goes on what transfer. Um, or which, pe which transfer goes on what piece, if you will. Um, 
So we'll say which and which layer. So that's all I'm doing. Now there are other ones on here that I plan to use, like the little stars. They're super cute. So we're probably gonna put some stars down. Um, I'm gonna just cut them out. They give you a little baggie that you can keep. Um, that you can keep your thing, your your transfers in when you're you know storing them. So I'm just gonna cut these out. I think I will do some scary faces on my pumpkin too, which will be fun. Um, I'm gonna do probably the way I'm gonna do this is so I have a my witch and my witch layer. So I'll layer this over her and get a second color. So I'll show you guys that. And I got my big Frank. I don't know where he should go. I think maybe Frank. I don't know. The mummy should be walking at Frank. And I think in between them, maybe like, no, we'll put Frank in the middle. Maybe do a mummy hand. And then some little pumpkins. Because who doesn't love pumpkins? And then will my witch fit up here? Oh, she will. She's going to fit. I'll make her fit. So guess what? We know what we're going to do. So let's start off first by doing hi Denise hi Stephanie hi Bob um, thanks for joining guys if you don't mind it would really mean a lot to me if you're watching on your iPhone or your your Android wherever you're watching on the bottom left hand side there's a share button if you would please share my video I would be truly appreciative um, if you're watching on your desktop I think you literally just hit the share button um, so that would really mean a lot to me if you would share my video hi Bob um, because that's how I can get to introduce more people to Chalk Couture. So, um, yeah, so I am just going in and getting my first guy down, my little mommy dude. And because, oh, and I opened up my chalk paste and I had little crumbs come flying everywhere. So let's clean them off. That happens. The top from the lid. And then I'm going to just take a little stir and I'm gonna stir up my chalk paste remember you want it to be a yogurt like consistency okay so just gonna plop that to the side I'm gonna go ahead and get my transfer um, or my squeegee rather now these squeegees I'm gonna really try to learn to use a lot more because I actually watched someone else use them and holy cow she was able to get it to pull down in a second so let's see if I use this the right way what happens okay she got oh yeah it does pull down really nicely she was able to pull it all right down and it didn't come out chunky looking and um, I'm gonna test that theory out right now and the reason why is because Chalk Couture has an awesome special next month if you purchase any five transfers could be five small five medium five large a mix and match for every five transfers you buy, you're gonna get this for free. And guess what, this is a $10 value, a $10.99 value. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you order more than five in one order, you are only gonna get one, but say in the beginning of the month you order five and you come back at the end of the month and order another five, you'll get another transfer. So it's one per order, okay? So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool that they're gonna give that away though. I was pretty excited to hear that. Oh, my mummy looks good. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna try and put him back on there. Hold on. I think I missed a little bit of his foot. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. I love it. Now what you guys did not just see me do is put my, I have a vat of water, a little tin of water if you will, and I just placed my transfer inside it so it doesn't get wet, uh, or so it doesn't dry out. Now as you can see right over here, I got some chalk paste on the board, no big deal, it wipes right off. That's some of the chunky still. Okay, so we got our mummy done. Next I think we're going to move on to, and I love the outline, can you guys see this? Let's see if it comes up. Look how like sweet the outline is. I really like that. It looks really cool with the white paste. I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna cover up my white for now. 
put the lid the little lid back on I'm not gonna totally close it but I'm just gonna close it enough now let's go ahead and let's get Frank on and I actually think I'm gonna just use one color with him um, I don't want to make the board look crazy crazy busy I guess you should say not only that but I want to show that you can do these with a single tran with a single color you don't need to have multiple colors to make this look good that's the beauty of chalk couture it looks good with anything oh now you know what I am not gonna hold on I think oh my mommy's hand is a little wet still I can tell so all I'm gonna do is get my heat tool aka my blow dryer and I'm just gonna dry them real quick Oh yeah, he's dry. You guys could hear me rubbing that over. Okay, now it's time to put Frank on because if he overlaps a little bit, the transfer overlaps onto the, the mummy, it's not gonna pull off now, okay? Wait, what did I say I was gonna do there? Did I say I was gonna do Frank there? I think I'm gonna, I think I put him a little too close. Let's see. Let's go right about there. I still have room for my witch. Yes, I do. So that's good. Okay, so let's do Frank in lime green. Ooh, he's going to be cool. And I'm going to show you guys what you can do. And look, I got some on my table. Guess what? No big deal. It's going to come right off. Hi, Bern. Hi, Janet. Hi, Damaris. Hi, Mark. Sorry, guys. I was all into the moment there creating. I didn't get a chance to say hi. Um, what... I'm doing I haven't used this yet um, I'm just stirring it up like I said making sure it's a nice yogurt like consistency very simple and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take my angled squeegee and I'm gonna use that to put my color down for Frank and I you know I'm yeah like I said I think I'm gonna use all the green just, or all, all one color oh my goodness look how nice yeah maybe if I would have used the squeegee the right way Look how easy that all applied on. Oh, this squeegee is awesome. This is my angled squeegee, guys. Look at that. Wow. Now I'm just going to come back over and make sure I get all my lines. You don't want to have lines. Okay. Frank is done. Oops, I dropped a little. No big deal. I'll clean it up. Oops, hold on, Frank. There we go. Okay. Let's put them on. Oh, he looks good. And don't stretch your transfer. Take your time pulling. Okay. Oh, he looks good. Very thin line for his legs. I like that. I like how cool he looks. He's fun. Oh, thanks, Burn. Hi, Sarah. I looked and could not find it on mine. What do I look for? Um, it's called Goose. Go, look, can I talk? Ghosts and Ghouls um, is what the name of the transfer is called, Elizabeth. Ghosts and Ghouls. Okay, so we have Frank on there. Yay! All right, let's close up our green. Um, now, oh wait, no, you know what? Mm, 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 mm. I wanted to do the zombie hand, but I wanted to do that in green. That would have looked really cool. But maybe, I don't want to do too much green in between. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I am going to do it in green, then I'm going to put a big pumpkin. So it won't be, it look like it's all just green over here. So I'm gonna put a big pumpkin, right? Maybe I'll do two pumpkins. Okay, so this will be easy. Let's go back in, get a little bit. This is not a big transfer. Was that wet? What is that? That was a little wet, okay. I'm just gonna pull it down. And I definitely got some off the board. It's gonna take a little bit for me to learn to start using this angle transfer, but I love it. It's a lot bigger than what I'm used to working with, that's for sure. But I like that it is, to be honest with you. Just 
just gonna make sure I get all my excess off, scraping it in. I don't wanna waste any. Our two ounce jars of Chalkology chalk paste. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sarah. Hi, oh yes, thanks, Elizabeth. Hi, Lisa. Um, the two ounce jars of the chalk paste will last forever if you, no, not forever, let's be real. But you definitely have lots of, you can create tons of stuff um, with it. Um, tons and tons and tons of stuff, as long as you wipe your excess off, okay? Little chunkies. Now see that little bit of Frank dried, so I'm gonna just show you, I'm just gonna get a little bit of water. And I'm going to take it right off. There we go. That little bit is off now. Okay, so now let's make some pumpkin, shall we? I'm going to make sure that my zombie hand is totally dry first. So just, there's going to be some noise in the background. Hi, Tom. Okay, can I just say how much I love this lime green? Oh my God, I love it. So pretty. So, so pretty. Hi, Beth. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Jen. Hi, Ka. Okay, so now let's put some pumpkins on. Where's my pumpkins? What'd I do with you pumpkins? Oh, here they are. Okay, so we're gonna put two pumpkins real close to each other. I'll probably do the big guy and the little guy right here next to my um, little zombie hand. And this is dry, so I'm good. I'm gonna use the orange chalk paste. And I keep opening over my project. If I could stop doing that, that would be awesome. <laughs> I just don't seem to learn. Okay, so my orange is a little thick. So that's good because I'm going to show you guys what you do. So I'm literally going to spray a dab of water. A little, 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 little bit. Because you can always add, but you can't take out. So if you put too much in, mm -mm, that stinks. So if you put a little bit in at a time and just keep stirring it around, it's going to get to the right consistency. Like right now, this is perfect. See that? Oh, it looks so good. Hopefully I'm on camera doing this. I just realized I lifted up pretty high there. Okay, so let's get, where's my little baby squeegee? Here we go, because this is a little baby transfer. Okay, just gonna put some orange on. Super easy, wipe it off. Pull our transfer off. Oh, how fun. Now let's get another little pumpkin on. Let me just dry this. Oh, that's the piece. Oh, yeah, that go. I'm just going to dry it real quick so I can overlap. Hi, Lila. Hi, Jen. Hi, Connie. Thank you guys so much for sharing my video. For those of you that are just joining, I would truly appreciate it if you'd share and keep on sharing my video. I want to get it out there. Yeah, I just had to add a little water to it, Beth, and it came out perfect. And then I'm going to kind of make this little pumpkin go closer to the bottom and maybe be a little behind or a little in front of Frank's foot. Good old Frank, Frankenstein. Are you guys able to see this? I hope. Of course, my, um, my, um, hi, Sherry. Thank you, Burn. You're the best. Um, yeah, this is the first time I'm using it, um, Lila. Um, I am, oh, that looks cute. I am loving, and I'm going to come over here really quickly before the paste dries, and I think what I'm going to do is add a little pumpkin here. I, and when I say paste dries, I mean on my transfer, because if your paste dries through your silk screen, um, it's going to clog it because that's what the transfers are. They're silk screen. So if your paste dries through it and you don't do a good job at, you know, getting the excess off, it's going to clog the screen and you won't get a good flush transfer. Okay. 
I'm going to put another one. I look at me, I'm going to be all brazen. I'm going to be sorry that I did this watch because I'm really testing the limits here. Okay. And I'm just, I just want to make a little scene. I just think it would be super cute if I make a little scene. Um, just so, like I said, I can add it right on my front door. Should we do one that's like half off? Oh, that'll be fun, right? Don't you think that would be cute? Well, let's see what happens, right? I seem to do things the best. <laughs> and I mean that sarcastically when I'm live. I seem to make the most mistakes. When I say, oh, let's try new things out. Oh, that did turn out cute though. Oh, guess what? Let's do it over here. Now see, I have a chunk that I can see that might affect my transfer here. But let's see what happens, shall we? We're just gonna go crazy with the pumpkins. Oh, that looks so cute. But do I even dare? Sure, why not? I got it on my table and that's fine. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so we're done with this little little pumpkin. Let's get the other other pumpkin in the middle over here. Oh, they're looking so cute. I'm loving this. Hi, Teresa. Got my second box today of goodies. Yay! You're going to play. That's the fun thing. Okay, let's see. And for those of you who are just joining, I would love it if you'd share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your phone um, on a desktop, I can't tell you where to go to. I've never watched a live from my desktop. I think it should be right in the comments area, but I don't know that for sure. So there we go. Look, we have a lot of little pumpkins. Like they're walking around a pumpkin batch. I could probably do another little hand. That might be cute, but let's not push it right now. Let's keep on going here, shall we? So let's do little witch. Okay, I'm gonna cover my chalk piece so they don't dry out because I don't think I'm gonna use the green anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm good with the orange. Now, let's make the witch. Um, got my, yes, good, glad to hear. Okay, where's my scissors? Probably right in front of me. Okay, all you guys are probably screaming at me. There they are. Okay, let's get this little face off because I don't wanna run the risk of putting a face on. But by the time I'm done, we should be able to put a little face on the jack-o'-lanterns. It'll be so cute. Okay, so let's make our little witch fly in, shall we? I did put, okay, I did mark the back of her, so she's good. Now this should be the base and the rest will be the fill-in, okay? So, should I maybe put her over here? Kind of like her being Lops, kind of lopsided, but it's like she's going to kick Frank. But you know what? If I make her like she's taken off, maybe it won't. Well, you know what? We're just going to try. It's the best we can do, right? Okay. So I'm going to make her, I think, mocha and magenta. I thought those two colors look pretty cool. You guys see? And besides, I'm kind of obsessed with the magenta. So the magenta is going to be my layer. And you can tell what you're doing. See how there's all this open space that's where the transfer is going to hit. So the lines in her socks, the outlines, the dress, the hair, the br the broomstick. Now, if I was doing this on a on a canvas board, like a piece of canvas, I would use black there. But why would I use black right now if I have a black board? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm going to go with the mocha. Oh my goodness, the mocha is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oops, I'm getting orange everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's lay our mocha down. Okay, and I'm just gonna try and be super easy because I have wet pumpkins still. And we'll dry this all in one second once I get all this on. Get all my lines, get my excess off. See that little bit? And it did the whole transfer. A little bit goes a long way, guys. A long way and if you notice that even when you're pulling everything off and you still have lines it could be because you have excess on your squeegee okay so we got that now hi Stacy hi Jill 
right under the announcement. Right under the announcement. Oh, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, she looks so good. I love it. Okay. And I think what I'm going to put up here is a three and a one for like 31st, you know, like happy Halloween. Okay. So what I'm going to do real fast is pull this off camera. Hi, Donna. And I'm going to go ahead and dry. And what I'm actually going to do really quickly to make sure that she is totally dry. No, it didn't come up, but I love it so much. It'll come up, I promise, Elizabeth. It's there. Okay. Oh, that's the Bob saying hi. It's a little bit of a delay, remember? Your head's not going to come up there right away. It's a delay. You'll see it over here, silly. But my head's still in there. Yo, there's your hand, silly boy. Uncle Rusty was in here a little while ago. Uncle Rusty. Okay, so these ones, there's going to be no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to do a line across each of these because they're so tiny. So as long as I made it in the box, I'm happy with where the lines are because I'm going to know that this is the back. I have to put my hand in You sure did. Hi, Betty. Oh, there it is. And for everybody who's just joining, I would love it if you'd share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device on a laptop. Please say hi to me in the comments. Oh, yeah. Bub would love it if you'd say hi to him. Can we show some hearts for the Bubs for everybody that's on here? Let's send little Bub up some hearts. He'd be very happy. Oh, my foot hurts. I know. I saw the leaves. I'm excited about that. I can't wait. Aw. That's good. Oh, look. Here we go. There's some hearts coming up for you, Bubbas. Hi, Alessandra. Where are the hearts at? Did you see them? They just went across the screen. Oh, There's another one. That's cool. Did you say thank you for the hearts? Thank you. Okay, she, oh, oh, look, they're fun in the screen for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, because my foot hurt since I heard it today. Yeah, Bub, Bub fell and had a little accident. Me and him both with our, that's what happens when we wear flip-flops. We always manage to hurt ourselves, right, Bubba's? Yeah. You got a good boo-boo today. You see the hearts? Look, people are still giving you hearts. That's so nice. Oh, Betty said, hi, Bubba. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for sharing, and gents for sharing my video. I appreciate it. Oh, you hear me talking in the background? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look how cute the little stem looks. Okay, remember how I said I was going to be crazy brazen? I'm going to try it again and try and put little stems on all of the little pumpkins. Now, I just can't be crazy crazy because guess what? I can run the risk of ruining this. Can I turn this off? No, 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 because then they'll hear the background and it'll not be cool. <laughs> no, because they'll hear me talking here and then they'll hear the background. Uh oh, that may not have been dried all the way. Whoopsie, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Makes it look homey like. Homey? Homey, like homemade. Yay for homemade. Oh boy. Just is getting brazen here, folks. Probably not the best thing to be doing. Oh, but it looks so cute, so I'm just going to keep on doing it. I will hold it up in one minute. Let me just hurry up and do this before the transfer gets all the paste dry. May I use a charger? Um, Yeah, just give Mommy a few more minutes because I had to get, plug the phone in. My phone in so I could go live, Monkey. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Can I have the face on pop? And he said, he said it looks like it's about to die. And I said, okay. <gasps> oh, darn it. That pumpkin may not have been fixed either, but you know what, guys? That's Wait. fine, because I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. What? Come on, Bubba's. Oh, you were waiting to hear me do that? No, I was waiting to hear myself say what I had to say. Oh. Okay, so that looks so cute. I'm going to just get a... So cute. I'm going to get my small little paintbrush here. Okay. Don't keep making noises in the background, goofy kid. Okay, I'm just going to get my little paintbrush. I'm going to take a little bit of the paste, and I'm going to touch up right where I lift it off. It's not going to be a big deal. Hey, Mom. Wait, hold on. 
You have to be careful with how you redo it with the paintbrush because if you don't get the right consistency of the paste, you run the risk of pulling other paste up. The other piece. So, okay, that's good for me. I'm happy with that one. Oops, I'm losing my glasses looking down. Just pasting away. Just pasting away, huh? Okay, I need a little more there. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're fixed. We are fixed. We are fixed. We are fixed. Okay, great. So we got our little stems on our pumpkins. Oh, wow, we still have a lot of people. Hi, Janice. I am having too much fun. Betty, this stuff is so much fun to play with. I feel like it's like arts and crafts time all over again. <laughs> so I have my little pumpkins. How fun. All right, now it's time to do our layer of our witch. She has definitely dried enough. See, I can run my hand over. So we're going to go ahead and now, when you're layering, you're going to want to, like, take your time. Okay, oops, hold on. Before I layer this, let's get this out of the way. And let's put the cover on our mocha so it doesn't dry out because I don't think I'm going to use that anymore. Okay, so what I do when I layer is I literally, A, take my time and I try to get one spot lined up. And once I see that it pretty much lines up, I try to stick that part down. And then, oops, I just lost my glasses. And then I try my best to get other areas to stick down. Like if I know, like that, she looks pretty good. Okay. See how I stuck it on over? See how I put it over and it looks like it's, I, I don't have any extra spots. I'm just waiting to make sure it shows. There we go, yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, hold on, guys. I forgot. My sto online store for anybody who wishes to go into, oops, not now, sorry, um, is going to be right here. Play, come on. I'm going to just put it in the comments right now below. I totally forgot to do that. I'm sorry. So that way you see it. Chalk Couture dot com. Okay, there we go. There's my online store. Hi, Jason, for anybody who's interested. So now, oh, I'm loving the magenta, by the way, lately, guys. Like, it is literally a favorite color. Oh, and this color mixes perfect. Oh, I love it. Can't wait. I cannot wait to see what she's going to look like. I think the mocha and the magenta look super cute together. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, we got our, and hopefully it's lined up good. I can't, you know, I can only go off of what I think it looks like. And like I said, if it messes up a little bit, I'm still happy with it because A, I made it. And B, it was fun. I had a blast doing this. I get to come in and hang out with my peeps here. And I get to make a cute little sign for my front door and I don't have to buy it. That's the best part. Because once you got buy this, guys, you can remake things over and over and over again. That is the best part. 20 to 50 times, to be exact. Okay. Let's peel this up. Okay, she's got a little bit of a shadow to her. I was a little off, but guess what? She looks super cute. She looks really cute. Okay. She looks adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we've got our little witch. Now I'm going to use the canary and get some stars in here. Okay. Do you remove it with another design later? Yes, I have been. Um, I make it and then I use my design for whatever I happen to have it for. And then I create something else over it. I actually just removed, um, I just removed the Be Humble and Kind the other day because um, I was ready to. I just was ready for it to come off. 
and I this is what was on this board and now I decided this is what I wanted for the holidays and I forgot that I had my little goes so guess what they're gonna go right here yay I was gonna say in my head I knew I was planning it out the right way but I forgot all about it oh Betty comes right off with water totally easy you just get a spray bottle spray some water on there and it comes right off okay now I'm not going to remix my white because I already used it. Oh, my white's a little chunky. That'll definitely be something I can see that I need to add some water to. Not today, but soon. I will say that I am loving this angled squeegee now that I actually used it because I can do a whole area in like less the time. I do make a bigger mess though, <laughs> but that's okay because it comes off with water. Betty, I'll show you what I mean because I know I went off the transfer a little bit here. Okay. And I'm just going to peel all the ghosts off. Oh, they look good. Oh, they look real good. Yeah, see right here, Betty? All you have to do is add a little bit of water and they'll come right off. Now, I just have a little bit of water on my hand, so I'm just going to Put it on the paper towel and there it goes off bye bye you don't even have to worry about it oh my goodness my little scene is coming together so well so I'll put the 31 there now oh my goodness so cute all right let's get some little bit of stars going what I do with the canary here it is what if you want a more permanent state easy Krylon um, makes a spray and it makes you, it's like almost like a spray Mod Podge. Um, and you can get it to stay on that way, Teresa. Um, it'll totally stay. And guys, look, I totally got it on my table and it's going to come right off. Get a little bit of water and it comes right off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start off on the side by my witch and add my little stars because she's completely dry. My ghost may not be yet. So I'm just gonna take my time. Oops, good catch, Jess. Didn't write back on the back of that. So that would have stunk. You're not supposed to put the transfers on the side that shows, um, on a side that shows, the, that's not the glossy side. Okay, because you can risk rowing in your transfer. So that's why you mark it with back. And it went off the board a little bit, but I'm not too concerned. Oops, and I marked up the side of the board just now over here. No biggie, no biggie whatsoever. Didn't come on now see you know what this is a perfect example so see because I didn't do a good job of getting this off it blocked the screen so look at it look at these can you see that it didn't go on as well Hold on, that was my mess I made it didn't go on as well as the first set of stars do you guys see that learn from me learn from my mistakes so I can't take the easy way out I got to clean it and come back and redo it which I will do no big deal um, I'm just not going to do it while I'm on camera with you guys because I'm having you on for a little while now. So let's do the other stars, shall we? And we'll put some over by the ghost and I will just do a better job of cleaning off this time. And I got a little bit off, that's fine. It's a little transfer and I'm using a bigger size squeegee. This is actually the, it's called the small squeegee. But as you guys see, I cut a few of my small squeegees down because I like them to be really teeny tiny. We'll go over here, why not? I just want to be careful that I don't get it on my ghosts. That's all I care about. I don't want to have to redo my little ghosts. Okay. That 
looks cute. Could it have been a little darker? Absolutely. Hopefully I can get this to go through the screen and I have not reached my limit with this one. We'll see. Nope, did the same thing. Okay, it's because, see some of them, if you're getting it off, I find that when I use a smaller squeegee, like see how I cut these? I get a better, I'm able to get more off. That's just my opinion from what I noticed. But guess what, I'm okay with that, it's totally fine. So, now the last thing I'm gonna do before I go through and find a 31, I'm gonna put some faces on some of my bigger scale, my bigger pumpkins. So, this guy, I gotta write back. I totally made a mess, but you know what? It's a fun mess, and it's gonna come up pretty, pretty easy. Is the board two-sided? Wait, um, yeah, the board's two-sided, Betty. Um, you're welcome, Teresa. Hi, Tommy. I did the same thing with the stars. Have to clean it off every time. Yeah, um, I don't know why. Um, it just seems to clog easier. I think maybe because it's a smaller transfer, that'll totally do it. Um, so that could easily be the answer there. Uh, I'm gonna do some charcoal. I think that'll look cool. I'm not gonna use the black, I'm gonna use the charcoal. And I'm gonna real quick, because it's an itty bitty little face, I'm gonna clean my real small squeegee off. Whoops. Okay. Itty bitty, itty bitty. Oh, I just picked up all my trash from earlier. Darn it. Forgot I had it in this. Darn, darn, darn. That just went all over. Hopefully it didn't go on my board. <laughs> I'll be so mad. Okay, let's get another stick to go ahead and stir. Just keep reusing. Oh, this color looks so good. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. That looks great. That is the perfect consistency. Okay, where's the squeegee? Okay, I'm not gonna go crazy. so good. Can we fit it on here too? Or is it going to take up the whole pumpkin? It might take up the whole pumpkin. Should we try? Mm. Nah, we'll just do one creamy pumpkin on the patch. That's all. Okay. <sighs> do you guys, let's see if I still have people on here. So you know what? I think that means you're interested in seeing what I'm going to do. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to add a three and a one for my chalkboard on the bottom. I think it would look super cute. Not like um, it doesn't already give a Halloween feel, but hi Tracy. I'm just making a fun chalkboard. Oh, here we go. I can find a three and a one. Please be a three. Oh yeah. Is that gonna be enough room? Question mark. W. Just gotta find a one. You got the three. It's an I. Oops, is that the one? There we go. Found it. Three, one, fun. So, let's go ahead and add the 31 on. Color should we do? I think the or I think orange would tie it all in with the bottom with the pumpkin. See, so you know what? I'm gonna go with orange. Orange, orange, orange. Did I knock my orange? No, I didn't. I left it inside here. Okay, hold on. Let me clean off mocha. And then I can use this little guy. Nice. 
scraper, or my squeegee rather. I'm just gonna clean it real quick. And I'm dropping popsicle sticks. And I'm getting charcoal all over because it was all over my fingers. That's awesome. Well, you get a little messy, but you know what? It's all fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and tie the whole board together and put some, make it a 31 in orange. Oh, no, I think it'll make it look creepy as well. I think it's going to make it look real good. Oh, yes. I love that. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's okay. Purple, purple. I know. I could have done purple, girl. I was thinking the orange would have tied it together. Was my thought there? Because I have all the pumpkins at the bottom. So, next time. Okay, now let's add our one, and guess what? My little sign's gonna be done. How fun. It, it's always purple with me, but yeah, I like the orange better. Ah, oh, I know, Kyle, believe me. I'm a purple girl, too. I love our purples. Our purples are awesome. Is that too close? That's too close. I think that looks a little crooked. Mm. You know what? It does, but I think I like it. I think I like it a little crooked. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be creepy. Creepy cute. Right? Okay. Okay. <gasps> I love it. Oh my goodness, guys. How cute did this turn out? My little sign for my front door. I love it. Let me just make sure it's showing up right. There we go. Hoping it's in the thing. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. Oh, thanks for the hearts and thumbs up, guys. Okay, so I used the Ghouls and Ghosts for everything except for the numbers, which was chalkboard font. I used orange, magenta, white, lime green, canary, and mocha chalk paste. I used the angled squeegee and the small squeegee. And... I think that's all I use, guys. I think that was enough. Um, the board, uh, the chalkboard, I literally just got at um, Walmart. That was in their arts and crafts section, and I think it was a dollar twenty nine. Um, and it was waxed, so it was ready to go. And like I said, I actually had cleaned it off already too one time. This was the board I made the be humble and kind project on. If you remember that, I used the glitter with it. Hi, Oma Gloria. Um, so yeah, this, this turned out super, uh oh, Mocha, you came off. This came out super, super, super cute. I'm so happy with it. Let me hold it up for you guys again. And anybody that really liked this, that has not shared my video, I would love it if you'd share it. Let's get the Chalk Couture love out there. Um, hopefully I'm in frame. I'm going to just wait to see it come up on my iPad before I blow, throw it away. i throw it away. Not what I meant before I move it away. There we go, I think I'm more in frame now, sorry. Um, so this is the project, oh it's so cute. Kinda of feel like there's some empty space here. Mm, I think I should probably just leave well enough alone. Um, but I love it, I really, really love it. I think it turned out so cute. So thanks so much for watching guys. My website is in the middle of the comments. I will go back in and add it to the um, description of the video for anybody who wishes to go in and place an order and remember tomorrow this awesome little guy is going to be free with a purchase of every five transfers that you get no matter what size you could do five small five medium five large five extra large um, it's five per order um, I mean one angle squeegee sorry per order that you will get for free when you purchase five if you want to order tomorrow and then place an order on Tuesday you'll get two if you do five transfers in each order but it's only one per order um, that you would get it so 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. I had a fun time making it. I can't wait to hang it on my front door. I will take a picture of it as soon as I am done here with you guys so you can see it in the comments below how it looks. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.